Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the date picker. Today we are going to learn about the range date picker example using the React app. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically the plugin that I'm using over here, that is NPM package of React multi date picker. And here you can see that we have a nice looking date picker so that is so that you can use it. Okay, so currently we are using the date range picker so here you can see that i can select the date ranges like this let me reload and just hide this and i want this this date to that date so you can see that 13 to 25th so this is a selected date range that i'm going to use so whenever we have a date range so you can use something like this how we have done this let's dive into the code level so here we have a date range picker so here we have to this is a states basically so you have to define the state start and end by default null okay let me format this code right and uh, okay so this is the states now whenever i do the handle change so i'm going to set the range state and with the start and the end okay and here next one that we have that is a date picker again so mode should be the range so here we have a mode if i go to the documentation also i think they have the modes also over here so if i go and just cross down a little bit they have the mode i suppose so i think but the mode i think they have range boolean only month picker only year picker you want so on the behalf of it you can use everything uh, props is there so you can use any of that one so i think the mode uh, is here also but they are not defining so here you can if you want if you want the only month picker you can yearly picker you want format you can do the formatting also okay so you can here you can see that you can use their props and uh, whatever requirement you have you can use it okay so currently i want to go with the range and the values from the start and the end and on change just set the values and just print that values because sometimes you want to send these values to the back end so that they can save the data okay so in that case you can set set that date and send into the back end part right so this is how you can do that with the date range select in the date picker any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day